Hi everybody, Andrew here. Uh, welcome back to RLD. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about object selection restrictions. Yeah, so uh, basically, um, a way to customize the way in which um, objects can be selected in uh, in the scene. Um, so you have to first select the RT object selection object in the RLD app hierarchy, and make sure you have the general tab activated. Um, First thing, uh, I'm actually going to switch to play mode so we can actually see those changes um, taking effect. So uh, the first thing you have here is can click select. Yeah, so by default this is checked, which means that you can left click to select objects in the scene. But if I uncheck this, you can see that uh, left clicking does no longer um, select any objects. Uh, you also have can multi select, yeah, because by default, if you click and drag the mouse cursor, you can select multiple objects at once using a selection rectangle. But if I uncheck this, then uh, the selection length, the selection rectangle no longer appears. Yeah, so we'll, you will no longer be able to select objects using the multi selection rectangle. Uh, then you have selectable object types. So uh, selectable object types allows you to um, specify the types of objects that can be selected. By default, it's set to mesh and sprite, which means that you can only select meshes and sprites. Uh, for example, if I um, uncheck the uh, mesh type and I click on these meshes, you can see nothing happens because the mesh type has been excluded. Uh, by default, uh, for example, let's let's say I also want to select this light object. If I click on this light icon, uh, it won't get selected. It will actually select the box behind it. Yeah. Um, however, if I uh, go here and click the light uh, object type, now I can just click on this icon and I can move it around. This is a point light, so you can actually see how it affects the objects um, in its vicinity. Right. You can also select this one. This is a uh, directional light, so changing its position will not uh, have any effect. Um, and uh, yeah, there's pretty much uh, everything you uh, the, the most common objects, uh, the most common object types that you can encounter. Um, the empty object type is basically so th these are objects that don't belong to any of these categories, right? So uh, I don't know if you have like an empty object, like a simple empty object with a transform component. That that object is an empty object, or an object that has um, I don't know a reverb zone, for example. That's also an empty object. Um, um, okay. And uh, what I want to say is these these uh, so this selectable object types filter applies only when clicking on objects or when uh, using the multi selection rectangle. Yeah. Um, that you, if you've read the docs, uh, you, you you know probably know there is also a way to uh, modify the object selection using an API, uh, the AP, um, like functions that actually allow you to change the object selection. Uh, those restrictions those restrictions will not apply in that case. Uh, that's because when you call an API function. Um, you express a clear intention that you want, okay, these are the objects that I want to be selected, right? And uh, you don't actually need these. Uh, okay. And um, we also have selectable uh, selectable layers here, which uh, basically allow you to specify the layers that can be selected. Yeah, so this is an additional way of, uh, this is another way of filtering uh, which objects can be selected or not. Now, in my case, uh, all objects uh, belong to the default layer. So let's see what happens if I uncheck the default layer from here. Yeah, so right now it's unchecked. You can see that I can no longer select any of these objects. If I check this again, uh, there you go. Yeah. And uh, you also have duplicatable layers here, which allow you to specify allows you to specify the layers that can be duplicated. So. Um, when you press Ctrl D, you can uh, duplicate a set of objects. Um, if I um, if I uncheck the default layer and press Ctrl D again, nothing will happen. Yeah, I'm pressing Ctrl D and nothing will happen because uh, these objects be be, uh, belong to the default layer and the default layer cannot be duplicated. If I check this again, press Ctrl D, there you go. Um, yeah, okay, so uh, that's, uh, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.